Hey, what's up, guys? Second Crip over here back again with some more FTB interactions. Oh, yeah, so I left off. I crafted up some nether portal blocks in between episodes. I did a bit of crafting to, you know, get some things done. Satchel basic. One of the things I wanted to do. Uh, let's, let's see. Satchel. I wanted to upgrade this as well, because, I mean, the, uh, the base satchel doesn't have very much storage. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm just going to put this away. I can't make Electrum at the moment, so it's whatever. Let's see. Portable tank. I wanted to make a portable tank as well, because I wanted to be able to store up... I wanted to be able to store my fluid experience. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I need? Oh, yeah, my... Uh, I wanted my signal and conversion kit as well, because this thing needs some storage. And also, uh, let's see. Crescent hammer. Can I make this? I can. Steel gear and iron plates. All right. So I'm gonna need. Yeah. All right. Uh, four of these going here. All right. So I mean that should be that should be pretty easy. Here we go. Bit of steel. I just press these. And this needs to go in here. So, pretty easy. I also have the iron bars in my inventory to be able to make the XP drain. Because, you know, kind of need the XP drain in order to be able to store my experience. There we go. Oh, that's right. That's right, I have to do... Oh... Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Alright. Can I can I melt steel in here? Yeah, I can melt steel in here. Good. Perfect use of about 500 mil of lava. So then I can do... I can get rid of this. Put this here and pour the steel in there. And now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually get rid of some things. Like, these clay kilns, I really don't need them anymore. So give me these. And same with the same with the charcoal. Just give me that. I don't really need it. I mean, uh, yeah, it, this should be uh, like I really don't need these clay kilns anymore. If I if I do end up needing them, then that's my bad. But yeah, I really uh, really haven't used them. I haven't used this thing in forever either. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna dis I'm just gonna dismantle the entire thing. There we go. All right. Uh, luckily, I have enough uh, chest space for some of this stuff. Um, okay. Uh, give me just a second while I put uh, while I craft up. Uh, well, while I pour out some steel here, this is gonna take a little bit of time. The good news is you can just pour steel right in here, which is it's pretty eh, pretty easy. I think I can. I think I can break this with a. Can I? Okay. Well, I can. It just takes a while. Um. Hmm. Can I do this, though? Nope. Of course I can't. Wrench? Well, well there's the flux-infused omni-wrench. Hmm. Also serves as shears? What? That doesn't make sense. Why is that a thing? Hmm. Mana diamond... Okay, well... I feel like this is something I can. Never mind. That needs HP. Um. How about I just do a quick slash backup start? Cause I don't want I don't want this thing to lose all the steel that I just made. Cause if I can't if I can't break this and keep the steel, that's kind of bad. Okay. I don't know why I had to worry. Like this thing this thing does keep it steel so. I don't know why I worry about that, but whatever. I can do that though, which is very useful. It's a easy. That's an easy way to get around the uh, the. You can only extract steel in MV requirement. Good way to get around it, pretty much. So if we just do this, and we make our quick crescent hammer. There we go. Now I can do this. And we have a signalum portable tank, which I can use. Yeah, let's get rid of the water that's in here as well. Um, 
Let's see. There we go. There we go. And we have 350. I can just, I can just do this. Is this the chemical reactor that was, I think that was the chemical reactor that was going in here. <laughs> Oops. And boop. Okay. We seem it should be fine. Oh, I didn't get my uh I didn't get my XP drain out. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should also Should I save this liquid strongly? Actually I don't know. Um Let's just do uh, no insert on this. Okay. Uh, boom. Let's move the autoclave for a moment. I'm just gonna put it here. Now let's do this. 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 No insert, please. Okay, well, there's still too much starlight in here. Dang it. All right. Fine. Well, point is I needed to move the autoclave anyway cuz I need uh, cuz I wanted to do a uh when is it do a 10 10 10 uh smart chicken in the autoclave with some liquid ex uh, liquid XP. So just do this really quickly. Um how much liquid XP is in here? Oh, wow. So this needs like 10 buckets of liquid XP, I think. Yep, perfect amount. So let's see, learning chicken. The learning chicken produces uh, learning enriched eggs, which can be fluid extracted into XP. Pretty useful. I mean, especially considering there's some recipes that I can just, so, so you can actually pick which of the, uh, you can actually pick which of the relics you can get from the Dice of Fate, which is interesting. Uh, you can also use it to make, uh, stuff from deep mob learning. Or, yeah, or, you know, you can, raw calamari turns into squid beaks. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Anything else that's useful? Loki to Odin, Odin to Thor. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it looks like XP is also used for making uh, making the powders. Also used for making enchanted ingots. Okay, so yeah, uh, so yeah, liquid XP pretty freaking useful. So yeah, yeah. Give me just a second to drain out all this XP. All right. Looks like we got some XP right here. So come on, can I break this, please? Thank you. All right. So we have a bunch of XP there. But also, now that I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and make the first thing that I need from logistics pipes, the logistics power junction. That, uh, so all those items in there, just uh, all those items I just threw in there were to make a logistics power junction, which you only need one of for your entire logistics pipes network. As you progress, you may find sorting and storage of your inventory as well as crafting and fluid management to continue to get more and more complex. Logistics pipes can offer an elegant solution to managing your connected inventories. And yeah, you know, you just get you just get a little bit of a head start. So CEU, basic logistics pipes, pipe controller, pipe manager, unrotted transport pipes. So, yeah, pretty useful. Oh, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, modular storage, yeah, I need to go to the nether as well. I need to find nether quartz just so I can get started with modular storage. Great, this is gonna be fun. And let's see, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to put this back on insert, forgot about that. Or there is a, hmm, interesting. Well, I can't move the autoclave back because, uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can't really move the autoclave back because it's it's crafting the learning chicken right now. A little bit of a problem. I'm thinking I may want to place my 
Hold on, how do I light this? Do I do I use my Philosopher's Stone? Hmm. Actually, I don't know. It might be flint and steel. Um. Hmm. Once you set for the blah 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 blah. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might want to pick up a couple things as well. So that and hmm. All right. Can I? I feel like it. I feel like it might be the Philosopher's Stone again. I actually don't know. Um, it's either the Philosopher's Stone or it's Flint and Steel. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, whatever. I can just I can just place this. Put a. I can just place this and get it back with this. Because I mean, you know. Here we go. I don't want to take too much damage. That, that, that would suck. Shoot. There we go. Uh, let's try Philosopher's Stone. Oh, it is Philosopher's Stone. Nice. All right, well, we have the Nether available. Though, uh, the though the portal sounds are getting a little bit annoying. So if we could just, uh, how about this thing? Lapis, string, and iron. That's not bad. That's that. So what I just showed you. That's a portable sound dampener. It's basically, it's basically a good way to just you know silence a bunch of annoying sounds. And of course I need more iron. Let's see. Uh, sound. Dampener. Of course, I need four iron. Of course. Of course. I need four iron. Uh, give me just a second while I craft up some iron. Ooh, my learning chicken is done. Look at that. I just need to put the autoclave back. And we'll get some... Uh, well, as soon as I put this back on insert, I'll get some liquid starlight in here and clear this out. Perfect. Now, uh, how about we just move some of this from it uh, over to here as well, just, you know. There we go. Spread the wealth. Then we just need to do my... Uh, then we just need to breed up the learning chicken, which... Uh, it's it's definitely going to take a little while. So, let's just do this. I do have I do have a lot of time in my time in a bottle, so I can... I can just do this. That'll, uh, that'll cause them to breathe a little bit faster. Which is definitely needed. Um, okay, yeah, I'm a little nervous about going to the nether. Um, but I mean, also, I need I need to get some... Uh, I need to get more iron, so... Let's see. Let's just go ahead and forge him into this. And this. Okay. Uh, back in a bit. Okay, we got all the things for the portable sound dampener. So that means we can get some annoying sounds out of here. Oh, I also got the block form of the sound dampener. So, let's see. Do I just... I do just click that. Okay. So now this can go in my body slot. And those, sh uh, those sounds should just go away. And it's still flowing water, but whatever. But yeah, I think I think the portal sounds and the villager sounds just all but stopped. It's kind of nice. Let's see, I mean, I've also I've also just been I've also just been like sifting a bunch of lapis. Uh, I'm getting flawed lapis, which uh, I don't think flawed lapis. I mean, this can pulverize into small pile of lapis dust. So you know, it it's not it's not perfect, but it's not. Uh, it's not like egregious. So let's see. Yeah, I also put my uh, I also put my uh, tank over here for uh, for XP. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, XP shower. Three iron plates and an obsidian. I think that's perfect. Yeah, that's a perfect amount that I have here. And I have a I have a lot of EMC. So 
I'm thinking I may just I'm thinking I may just want to make a uh, I'm thinking I may just want to make an XP shower so that we can do some more uh, so that we can do some XP orbs to do my uh, to do my mending stuff. I mean, I mean, this is this is like an easy recipe. Uh, XP shower, boom. I think this. Uh, how is this triggered? I know it's triggered by a redstone signal, but I'm not sure how. So was it? It's off by default. Okay. So I just put. I just trigger it with a. I just trigger it with a redstone signal, and uh, you know where we go. But yeah, now it's time. And now it's time for something a little bit dangerous. So I'm thinking maybe I might want to move my home point. Because my home point is currently in the overworld. Um, Alright. Hang on a second. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Uh, so let's do slash set home here. So... Uh, so the void world is going to be my home point. So, uh, so what if I just, uh, so what if I just go through a bunch of portals? Uh, you know, let's also, let's just also do auto collect for my uh, for my satchel, just so I can, uh, just so I can keep my inventory as clean as possible. Because I, I have a I have a full chest worth of storage in this satchel, so I feel like I should be fine for a bit. All right, uh, I guess we're going. Here we go. Off to the nether, and spooky, scary skeletons will be coming for my butt if I'm not careful. Uh oh, here we go. Venturing into even more dangerous dimensions? Well, you are a bright one, aren't you? I suppose that means you're ready for the worst of the worst. Oh, well, can't say I didn't warn you. Oh, great. There's blackstone. Oh, jeez, this is gonna. This is not gonna go well, is it? Um, it's just nope. Uh, exit. I do have my scanner, so let's see. Is there any any ores around here? Some over there. Oh, some below me. Okay. Okay. Um, isn't it? Oh no. I do not need a gas right now. Give me just a second. Ooh! Fire bat and fire bat. Oh, I completely forgot about those things. Oh my god, I hate those things so bad. Oh god. Why are fire bats even a thing? Why? What's this? What's this right here? Actually, I don't know. But there are a bunch of zombie pigmen around. This is gonna be. Eh. This is not gonna be fun. This is really not gonna be fun. I need, I need, like, a zombie pigman charm. Okay. Let's see. Um. Hi, zombie pigman. No. Okay, right there. Zombie pigman... Oh, God, not again! Okay, um... Nope. Uh, this one. We want definitely not safe space. Zombie Pikmin. Also, have a chance of getting mad if you break blocks near them. Oh, great, great, great. So trying to get uh, trying to dig to this ore is probably going to be a mistake. Oh my god, this is going to this is not going to be fun. Got it. I think I need to risk it. Um, turn off auto collect, please, because I want to be able to barricade myself just in case. All right. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Oh, dimensional shards. Cool. I'm just gonna barricade myself. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we have a little bit of... Jeez, these... The zombie pigmen are making me nervous. 
The zombie pigmen are making me really nervous. There's one right in front of me. Oh my god. And I do not want to attack them. What will happen next? Be sure to tune into the next episode of FTB Interactions.